Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over Solana, Ethereum, and Bitcoin and really taking a look at that little scare that we had a few days when those wells really started to sell off. So if you haven't already, subscribe, drop a comment, and while you're leaving me a comment, click that bell and follow us for all of your crypto news and analysis and opinion and whatnot. All right, so Solana today is trading around $21.47, which is a whole lot better than what it's been. Let's take a look at the graph. The volume over the last several days, and when I say the last several days, I'm talking about since, well, almost all of April or the end of April and all the beginning part of May, which is still the beginning, but has been very, very low in volume, right? Just not much going on, not much going on, but um, however, it's well, starting to pump in. Now, we were talking about this in the last video, maybe the second to last video that we created, uh, about it kind of going down and reaching <coughs> into this area of well support previous resistance right um and here of course we broke down but it was a really scary moment right here when we had this candle kind of actually signifying that it was going to continue to push down but it was actually bought over so we have this uh, tweezers this tweezer formation uh, popping up, which actually showed that it's going to continue higher since it actually closed on a positive note and it's reached now to where it is. Um, now, where where are we going to go to where we start seeing that $22 mark is going to be a bit of a pushback, not much of one, but really when you start to see the 22 and a half or so, we're going to have that and that is mostly due from this right here. Uh, this one and here. Still not very, very strong when we look in the past um well the past history but all in all together uh is this what we're gonna see and and including this too honestly this one right here this tweezer top and this is where we got because we have tweezer tops here we have tweezer tops here right and i mean this was kind of our big warning that it was going to start shifting down but uh we'll see that around 2250 2280 uh and a half this is where we're going to see those moments uh, pushing in, but once we kind of start pushing up above that, we'll we'll see some good growth. But it needs to kind of stay on point to where we are. Uh, if we drop down to the four-hour time frame uh, to take a look, you can see it was a steady incline uh, over the last well eight, eight hours or so. So pretty big. It's still losing momentum, but all in all, I mean, we still have three hours left in, inside of this uh, time frame. So, but it's still pushing up. It's still looking quite bullish compared to what it's been and we need to stay on top of that to really check so if we're talking about entering that market at a good time uh which i have already bought this was this this is that moment and i mean and the time is counting down uh so given that uh if, if you entered here um for example it's 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 liable to kind of push in now like i said this is the daily uh, and the four hour marks and of course if this breaks in over i would say that it would come in uh, quite quite well if we're looking at the um as far as the moving averages right uh if we look at the moving average uh that's kind of coming on the 200 uh ema uh we'll see that let's just go ahead and adapt this for us right so the moving average right uh let's say 200 right so just kind of push this in and well, well you can see either way that over the moving averages we're still above that this is the nine day moving average which we're kind of pushed in over which is still really good all right so we have the one day moving average but this is my mistake uh, but over and all, the 90-day moving average were above it. So over the last week, we're still pushing in. So uh, we are either way over the moving average uh, of the 200 EMA. So we're still bullish on this. It's not really down at this point. Now, taking a look at Bitcoin, right? Uh, let's just change it here to the US dollar. Here we go. Uh, Bitcoin, we spoke about this too, being this moment of support. Uh, also closing in quite well uh, when we're talking about uh, dropping in and kind of retesting and coming back out, which kind of scared us. Uh, we were talking about this in a couple of days that this is going to be the resistance line, right? And we're talking about right here that we're going to see this push coming in. And well, guess what? It dipped down, but it did get rejected. It touched right here on our line of support. 
and this is where it kind of pushed back in and moving. Now nothing changes here. The 28 is still a moment that we need to fight with, but pushing back in is going to, is going to be a big big part of that. Now uh, also the tweezer tops also signified this too that it was going to go down, but again the well selling off wasn't quite much. Now um, the volume really spiked, and that volume was the sell offs that were happening. But the volume starting to slowly come back up, uh, as you can see. <coughs> All right, sorry, got a little sick. Now Ethereum is one I've been kind of paying attention to. Uh, now Ethereum is also we were talking about reaching it. It touched that moment too, dip back down and come back up. Um, I had uh, unfortunately I had actually made a bad moment about right here, uh, but it come over and uh, it's starting to grow as well. Uh, we also reached this key moment too uh, when the support and resistance um, well previous resistance and acting as support level kind of came and we broke past that also rechecking on also going in from what Bitcoin is doing because it does follow along with everybody kind of trading and selling it they kind of compare those together <coughs> volumes have also jumped doing quite well uh, better now compared to what it was people are buying they see this moment uh, where they can buy it into the market and i think it will continue to rise in as well especially around when we get to around 18 or so we'll see some fight back from it uh, nothing too incredibly strong but uh i think maybe we can move in slightly to a range but i think we're going to reach back up to 2000 before too long i don't see this being an impossible matter so it's something to really be digging into let's look into the uh, market as a whole. All right, looking at the market as a whole, Ethereum's up by one and a half percent for the daily. Bitcoin's also up by 2.1. XRP by 0.3. A good performing coin right now today is also Matic is also doing really good, and that's 2.5. Near is up by 2.3, also performing quite well for the day. OKB is going up, uh, especially considering Canada's situation since they pulled out. So AKB is uh, performing quite well. Uh, in this, AVAX is 2 and 2. Litecoin jumped up by 8.1, and that's probably due to the halving of that is coming in. So that's also some big, big areas to watch uh, for as well. HBAR is doing okay. But all in all, the market today is doing much better than what it's been for the last week. And watch this. APT also, what fantastic. One of the better ones too at 5.7. Uh, percent doing good now it is down by 30 percent for the month but the daily is up by 5.7 and the week is 2.6 so quite some uh quite a drop but also to pay attention to this coin as well solana is also where we're talking about it is up by 1.9 percent so these are looking really good if we're talking about those upper tier coins uh to uh, catch that right moment and this is the thing is to catch that right moment uh, when we're entering it so jumping into the four hour charts and seeing uh, is a good moment to kind of enter as i think that it will continue to go up and even if they go into the range as far as a uh, more of a range a sideways action going on you're not really going to lose if you have the patience for it uh, but it will go up and you can make some cash all right guys thank you for joining me subscribe drop a comment and i will see you again next time